Switching gears here, we are following breaking news out of Montville tonight. We have just learned all six schools in that town will be closed as the coronavirus spreads throughout the community. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live from Montville High. And Matthew, this is certainly going to have a big impact there. Yeah, Aaron, it certainly will. You know, trick or treating is now highly discouraged and a lot of families are quickly getting ready to go to online learning. This is the letter sent to Montville families tonight that will change routines for two weeks, maybe more. Superintendent Lori Palin confirming, quote, there is community spread in the town of Montville and it is affecting our schools. That's why all six will be closed for two weeks. Montville has already seen confirmed cases at two elementary schools, the high school and the Palmer building. Maybe a week ago. I was actually talking to a couple people about it and I, I figured it was going to happen. John Wizork is quickly shifting to his online learning plan and he admits there's been issues. They're going to be home for the next two weeks doing the laptop stuff and half time that doesn't work. I mean, we've had problems in the past with the laptops, the password is not working. During the two week in home learning, Superintendent Palin also says students should not participate in group activities like team sports or trick or treating on Halloween. Just keep it at home. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't know what's out there. Nobody knows. The concern tonight extends well beyond the school system in town. Because community spread has been confirmed, locals worry about Mohegan Sun, one of the biggest gaming destinations in the world. It employs nearly 8,000 people, and they are offering antibody tests. We asked the governor today if that was enough. As casinos are ramped up their testing significantly for employees and their families because uh, everybody wants to avoid a flare up there as possible. Now, while Montville has pulled the trigger and took all of the classes online, they are by no means the only southeastern Connecticut town experiencing flare-ups right now. Groton, Griswold, New London, Norwich, Salem, and Sprague, they are all on the red alert list uh, that the state updated just today. That is the latest live here in Montville. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.